The Hawaiian pro now back out in the water. Mark Lacamere from France, and Jacob Wilcox from Australia, Jorgon Kuzinet from Reunion Island, and Christopher Luthard. Almost. 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 That was pretty good, I thought. Yeah, okay. Come on, out the back right now. Look at this in red. Mark Lacamere is finding himself his opening ride. Big slam in the corner right there off the lip. Another little setup turn to get it back into the power pocket. Let's see if he can get up and find some more. There you go. Another little turn in the corner. Here we go. Vert. Find some lip line right there. I like that. Working hard. Mark Lacomere training really hard for these kind of waves. Jacob Wilcox right here on the backhand as well. Trying to find some flow on the inside. Lip line connection. Another climb. Fitting in another turn right there. A little warble of the whitewash. But the Hawaiian pro here at Haleiwa. That back side, super strong. He knows what equipment to ride. You know, I saw that his he was coming down here walking with uh, a couple boards that had a lot of dents on it. So that means it's a, a board that he's been riding uh, a lot. So he understands his equipment. It's, uh, you know, you start kind of having those old faithfuls. So he's going to be confident, even though he probably hasn't had a ton of time here already at Haleiwa. Uh, this is probably his first or second session uh, surfing. You know, and then you got Wilcox, the youngster, right? And Jacob Wilcox, as you can recall, back. And the day got a wild card and uh, took on the championship tour service, took on Kelly Slater. You can see the number two priority guy right here, Mark Lacamere, finding the ball. Nice hit, straight up vertical into that lip line. And again, pushing the tail free right there. Beautiful surfing right there. Oh, and he goes over the handlebar. I love to watch it. But look at this replay right here, Pete. I mean, just slamming it up into the lip, the surfer in red. Well, he got a 6.77, you know, and I think that if he had finished this wave, we would have probably saw, you know, our first high. Got to be here early. Well, surfer from Hawaii on his opener, trying to find some open face, but getting shut down, having to pull through the back of that one. Boom, big speed hack up into the lip. Nice setup turn into that layback Larry snap right there. I like it. Nice flow. A lot of flair right there, commitment. Really strong surfing right there from the surfer. Yeah, a bit t tougher, but uh, you know, this one he's on a medium sized set wave. It's not a big wave, but you can tell that freedom and that, and that looseness that he has drifts the fins. You can see there, you know, so it has a little extra flair in the maneuvers. Again, that sacrifice of having that foam not under your feet gives you that ability to have the maneuverability. Again, there's that water angle. So there's that deep section, but he carries that speed through, and now it goes into that shallow portion of the reef. The wave steepens up, and he gets to rattle off those moves. Again, a little variety there. Had that carve to layback snap where he... Surfer in white right now trying to find some open face. Big lip line float right there, tail drop, but comes unstuck in the white water as he tries to come around that section. Deep. Seems like the strategy for Jorgen is to uh, catch a lot of waves. You know, trying to better a 1.0, which he'll do. Luthard found something. Paddled really hard to get to the open face of this wave as you saw him battling the current, but look at him, he's setting up the inside corner, doing some backhand surfing, couple of slices, nothing too dynamic, probably not what he wanted, but right behind him, Wilcox, boom, slams a float then up into the lip. So some great surfing right there from the Australian. And out the back behind him, the sets continue. As Lacamere comes up into the corner, bingo, nice timing right there, almost comes off. And another turn up straight into the lip. A great two-turn combo from the Heat Leader. Again, riding that Proton model with the pintail. Perfect little shortboard for here. You know, it's like a little bit longer, uh, you know, by about probably an inch. So it's like it's slightly a step up. And that really helps him to keep that positive, but also have that shortboard feel. Wilcox, probably on a similar style. A little rounded pin, DHD, Derek Han Darren Hanley model. Probably the same style board that you see Mick Fanning. And then Chris on a big solid set wave here, but he stuffs the rail on the bottom turn and that really upset his flow on this wave. He stays with it, but you know, when you have that first turn, you know, and it, it digs a little bit of rail, it it's upsets the rhythm of the wave. You know, and he just really never. Live action out the back, boom. Nice little sweep right there in the corner. Bluther trying to find some open face, but has to jump up and out of that. Wilcox on the wave prior right here in the islands and you know one of the things that reason why is we watch this replay of Christopher much better cleaner you see the rail was transition was better on that bottom turn he didn't have that. so much happening let's see how Mark Lacamara adapts to all these conditions nice clean open face straight up into the lip blows the tail out comes around to the corner another one up into the corner and he likes it you can see that body language right there and I feel like that's a huge part of surfing is the body language so we'll get back here to the surfer from Hawaii 
Blathic finding some lip line himself. Nice little turn right there. Trying to get some more action down the line, but not see seeing what he wants. Surfer and White almost goes over the handlebars, coming out of that nice flared out turn. Goes to the air, throws down Ooh. the 180. Um, you know, all those elements that you have to deal with. That Holly Eva, that current's pulling from left to right, so that actually creates resistance against your board as well. Um, on, on top of the fact that you got all this energy pushing in and the water pulling out, so it, it, it adds a little extra um, to, to dealing with the surf. As you watch again, attacking the lip there. And anytime you're getting a surfer to connect with that steep section, you know, it, it looks cool to go out in the face, but it's not as difficult. Whereas if you attack the lip, where you connect with the lip, like we saw Lacamare do. But number one priority is with Jacob Wilcox. So he will take and use his priority, keep his opponent off, and try to execute on the inside. Slams out the tail, gets a little lip line glide right there. And this thing's counting down. Will this next wave count? And yes, the surfer in third is up before the horn. So Kuznet is going to have a counting ride. Wow, a big layback hack in the corner. <laughs> he completes it. That was a beautiful turn. He needs a 6-9-7. Will one move turn the heat? You saw that Jacob Wilcox for sure threw a block down there. We'll see if this one turns it, although starting to look at the inclinations now. I don't think it's going to be enough as the judges are dropping scores in. Jacob Wilcox right here coming up in second place. Mark Lacamere dominated that thing.